What is robust regression? Robust regression is used when there are too many outliers in the data. Uh, now you know that if a data has too many outliers, it is not a suitable data for statistical modeling. Uh, most statistical models will have problems when you have outliers in your data. Outliers are nothing but the uh, extreme observation. Under the influence of outliers, uh, ordinary least square regression will give biased result. So that's one important point to remember. So robust regression uh, overcomes this influence of extreme observations. So you can use robust regression in place of ordinary least square regression when you have you know too many outliers. Question is why don't we remove outliers? Like it is you know recommended in many statistical modeling exercises that you should remove outliers or deal with them before going out with uh, modeling well sometimes it is important to keep outliers in your data you can't remove them and there are many reasons sometimes there is a restriction that you cannot remove every data if you remove some of these data points it will reduce the sample size so from the estimation point of view removing outliers many times is not good especially in small sample uh, study so, you know many times you can actually go ahead and remove outliers in in those cases you need not use robust regression this is the data on crime um, records on on different states in united states and we've got several variables we're not going to use all of them here is the uh, explanation for all the data in all the variables we have in our data so we are only interested in crime that means uh, the violent crimes per lakhs of people the rate of crime and, and few so we were to predict how rate of crime depends on you know poverty is, uh, is somebody uh, having single parents and, and so on percentage of white people uh, percentage of people living in metropolitan cities and so on so first we'll do is um, we learn a ordinary least square regression and we will um, we'll keep the results and then we will robust regression and we'll then compare the results from OLS regression with that of the robust regression and we will see what the differences are. We'll use PROC reg in um, SAS and the data set is crime and uh, we're using two independent variables poverty and single and the dependent variable is crime other things we also want the residuals so that's important to us we're also getting the cook d uh, so cook d is nothing but easier for outliers See, you know it helps it's just a statistics which helps you finding uh, outliers and we're also finding the leverage and we also plot it right we'll, we'll plot the leverage just to know how many outliers do we have so when we run this code we have these outliers right and we can clearly visualize them that you know these are some of the outliers uh, so that's one way of uh, you know uh, locating the outliers the other way is to use the cook distance okay so we use the cook distance the thumb rule is that um, if the cook's distance is greater than 4 by 51 it's considered to be an outlier okay um, and we found that there are four observations which are uh, meeting this criteria. However, you know, we can actually remove them, but given this is a small sample of 51 observations, it is not a good, you know, good practice to remove this observation and then go ahead with OLS. We have the R square of 70% and, and, and so on. And um, okay, so just one variable is significant. Uh, the single parent is significant and, and poverty is not a significant variable. So that's the result from the ordinary least square regression. Okay. So you can also plot the residuals from the OLS regressions and you can see that some of the residuals are you know, far away from um, you know, the other residuals. So there's a presence of outlier. That's what it confirms. So we'll use robust regression. Okay. And um, we'll use proc uh, robust rig uh, in SAS to uh, do the estimation. So when we run this, we will get this output. We have we have the you know parameter estimates here also we can see uh, that you know just one variable is uh, significant I, I guess so yes only single is a, a significant poverty is not 
So the result from OLAs and robots, you know, says pretty much the same. But what are the differences then? And we'll see what the differences are. Okay, so when you look at the uh, statistics, the diagnostic statistics, so so what happens in in uh, let's say this is the data point distribution of data points, and these are some of the outliers, right? In ordinary least square regressions, the normal data, you know, is considered that most of the observations are normal, right? More uh, general in nature. So the weight in the estimation, the weight given to all observations in the estimation process is same. Whereas in robust regression, the outliers are given less weight. So, okay, the outlier given a less weight in the estimation. That means the contribution by the outliers in your estimation process is much less compared to the uh, observations which are not outliers, right? And um, it depends on the Cook's distance as to which one will have the higher way, highest weight and so on. So the best observation will have the most um, weight in the estimation process, and it has the weight uh, given to this out, you know, these good observations is actually more, uh, and to the bad observation is actually less, right? You can see different weights given, right? And this is exactly uh, is the difference between OLS and robust regression. So in OLS, your weight will be nothing but one by the number of observations, right? That is exactly the weight. Whereas in robust regression, it will vary a lot. Okay, so you can see the weight um, given to the first observation is 0.28, but the next observation is 0 0.35, 0 0.59, and so on. It is different. And some observations, it has been taken a weight of 1, which is the highest, right? Whereas in OLS, it is all uniform. The weight is exactly the same. Now, we have seen that the results in the output output hasn't been very different from what we have seen in OLS. However, in many instances, you will find differences. We haven't taken many independent variables. If you have a bunch of independent variables, some of the independent variables which are not significant in OLS with the presence of outliers will come significant in robust integration. Now, what are the uses, real-world uses, right? We always worry about, well, you know, theory is fine, but what the real-world uses are. Well, I can tell you one example in finance where you know robust regression or robust statistics are, are very um, you know finding a lot of popularity. You know, in finance there are some rare incidents where you know you have some incidents which are totally different from uh, a set of other in in incidents which which are pretty normal. And in finance, this extreme observation cannot be uh, you know removed uh, from data but that's important like financial crisis let's say 2000 finance eight financial crisis so that's an incident which doesn't happen every year right so that's an outlier all that has happened in 2007 and 8 in finance is is, is an outlier in your data if you do an analysis uh, in the later years right but will you be able to remove them no because these data points on you know in a crisis period are actually very important so how do you deal with uh, them? Uh, well, the normal uh, statistics is, is not going to help you much because you know that will require you to remove uh, observations which fall in these two years, seven and eight. Whereas robust statistics will you know help you you know estimating without um, you know having to uh, remove the outliers or, or these observations which are considered to be uh, rare or extreme or, or observations which do not occur. Uh, you know, um, in, in a normal time period, in a normal situation. All right. Thank you so much. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe.